Welcome to another episode of Treasure Hunt Trains. Today I want to show you one of my prized possessions, my PCC streetcar. For those of you that don't know, the PCC stands for President's Conference Committee. The first PCC cars were built in the 1930s. They were designed to bring ridership back to the trolley systems, which had been declining due to other sources of transportation. And the economy was still recovering from the effects of the Great Depression. The cars proved to be very successful as they were very efficient, easy to maintain, and they had a very nice ride quality. This particular model is made by Corgi. It's made of die cast metal and is very detailed. In fact, Corgi made a whole series of PCC cars. But all of them are static display models. But not this one. Whoever had the streetcar before me removed the bottom of it and inserted this powered chassis in it, allowing it to operate on three rail O gauge track. Now, manufacturers have made PCC cars in O gauge and HO before. Aristocraft even made one in G gauge. Most of them have been lower end models that aren't all that detailed. Which is unfortunate, because there's not a whole lot out there for trolleys and streetcars in general. So if by chance any of the manufacturers are listening, make more trolleys. As for the real PCC cars, a lot of them are still in operation today. And if you want to actually ride and see a whole bunch of PCC cars, visit San Francisco. They have a huge fleet of them, but best of all, each car is decorated in the livery of the city that it originally operated in. Car 1061, as seen here, originally operated in the Los Angeles area. And its paint scheme was based on the famed Daylight Steam locomotive, which ran excursions from Los Angeles to San Francisco. It's great that so many of these rolling antiques are still doing what they were meant to do. They're also proving that a trolley has a place in America's future. A number of cities have started to bring back trolleys and streetcars as they can help reduce traffic in busy areas. They don't directly produce any emissions or greenhouse gases. They're also great for promoting tourism, giving visitors a fun way to see the city without dealing with the hassle of parking. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed that, be sure to check out some of the earlier episodes of Treasure Hunt Trains.